What's up guys, and today I'm making another video. Now today we're gonna be doing four different back to school hacks. I know I'm late on this, but still. Okay, the first back to school hack is notebooks. But if you have a backpack like me, like this, you won't need this hack. But if you have a normal backpack that you put on your shoulders, like that one, then all you, then you know that it can take a long time, time to get these out and find them so what you do is that you look at the ends and if you have a colored notebook then if you have a colored notebook then just do the same color that it is like math is blue and then my writing and then my writing journal is purple so this is really easy if you just need to get something really quickly Okay, the next hack that I have is to sneak in food. Now, I'm not going to actually be cutting into this because I want to use it. But what you can do is get big index cards. Is you can get these small index cards. And then um, cut something in here with like an X-Acto knife or a regular knife if you'd like. An X-Acto knife is easier. Cut it in. Cut a few. Uh, cut it in deep. And then put tiny little snacks in there when you want it, okay? And then another hack is to always have paper. You know it can take a long time getting paper out of your backpack. So always have paper on the go, like when you're walking to your class. Always make sure that you have paper in your hand or if you have a backpack like me and then it has a little compartment like this. Always make sure you have back you have paper in this. It ma just makes it everything a lot easier. Now the biggest, now the next hack you need is a is a plain white shirt or something that's really cute that you really like, or something that's cute, or it's just uh, something that you don't care about. I'm using my mom. I'm using my mom's. <clears throat> I'm using my mom, my mom's old pants that she doesn't care about, and. Wait a minute, I need to get something. So, okay. I got the tape. Okay, so... Once you've gotten the pants or shirt, you can buy a plain white shirt or buy actual fabric. But all you do is lay it out like this. Okay, you lay it out like this, and then I'm just going to wing it. You need scissors and tape and this, or you could just use a hot glue gun, but I can't find my hot glue gun, so we're not going to use that. Okay, I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. Um, so what you're going to do is, you, is you're just going to go around. You could use a paper plate, but I'm not. You're just going to cut it. like a half circle yeah that's what you could call it in half circle you're gonna cut it all the way around okay okay and when you're done you should have this circle and then the flat and then the little seam but we're not going in the inside we're doing it on the outside so what you do what you do is basically you're gonna take a little snip out of this you could say or just like a corner sorry if you can't see it just a little corner you could say so I'm going from the bottom and making a line that I'm cutting out of sorry if you can hear bear and then I'm just making a line that you can cut out of basically just like this something that's enough big enough to hold pencils or pens and then you're gonna take it 
this this is a lot easier than having to go through all your stuff and finding, oh, I want to use this pencil, or oh, I want to use this pen, you know? So you're just going to open it. <laughs> you're just going to open it. Okay, I'm trying to open it. Okay, you need to open it all the way until it's completely uh, flat. Okay, and then you need to take this and then tape the corner. So we're going to get our tape. We don't need a lot of this tape, so don't use too much or else you're going to ruin your scissors. And I don't want to ruin my scissors because I use that when I'm drawing in my uh, arts and crafts box. So you're just going to... You're just going to cut it, a line, so you're just going to cut a line, and then you're just going to tape it along, like right here. On that, and then on the other side, you're going to do the same exact thing. So I'll be back once I'm finished with that. Once you're done, it should look like this, and then you can put little pencils in here. But we're gonna we're gonna make two more of these, so I'll I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, now we're finished. Once you're done, all you need to do is put pencils in it. So you can close it just like this. People might think you're weird, but it makes it everything a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you how the pencils look and pens look like when they're in there. I'll see you in a bit. Sorry, guys, that I left you on the ground, but uh, we're just going to put all our pens and pencils in, and you can make them small. You don't They don't need to be really big. You just need to make them small. You don't need to make them perfect either, because every pencil has a different, you know, kind of shape. So, this is what it looks like. And then you can just close the flap and then open it. So, yeah, guys, I hope you all in So, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all I'll see you all in my next video. Love you. I love you all. So, I love you all. Sorry if you can hear me itching myself. I love you guys so I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!